Shalom, the Lord bless you, family. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word for someone. God says, this is the challenge you have been facing. And then this is the way out. What is the challenge? The challenge is, you know that God knows the plans. Jeremiah 20, 29 verse 11. God says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, but not to harm you. Plans to give you the future that you desire. I love the message Bible. It says, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to prosper you, but not to harm you. Plans to give you the future that you desire. The problem now is that you don't know those plans. And you don't know exactly what is what he's doing. So you're at that point in your life where you are wondering, is this still God? Does God still know what he's doing? Because the issue is God declares the end from the beginning, but never tells us about the middle. So you are lost in the middle, standing in the corridor of nowhere between two somewheres, and you are asking yourself, does God really know what he's doing? Is this really still going to be, are these still plans? For my good to take me to the... How will this take me to the expected end? And you have been wondering. Your faith has been shaken. Your belief in God. Your belief in his word has been shaken. Because you are not quite sure that God knows what he is doing. You are not sure if, if it is still God in control of your life. Or, or you, have, you have been afflicted. You don't know whether you are still in the process of God. Or you are out of God's process. God says I should tell you. That this is how you come to know. This is how you will know that he is with you. And he is in control of what is happening. He says peace. Peace. Irrespective of the storm. Irrespective of you not knowing what is going on. You will feel a peace. Your mind is trying to trouble you. But your spirit is at peace. God says that is how you are going to know. And you are going to be sure that indeed he is with you. That, that's the first sign. The first sign is the peace of God will be with you. The second sign is. Even though you are going through a hard time. You will never lack what you have, your basic needs. Before the day runs out, God supplies. God is, is, is diligent in supplying your need daily. God is faithful in supplying your need daily. So in as much as you are believing him for greater things, in as much as you are trusting him for greater things, you also are seeing, you are also seeing his faithfulness. That is a sign to let you know that God is with you. He knows what he's doing. He, these two signs are sure signs that God is with you. So this solves the challenge. God says, fear not. God says, do not be disturbed. Yes, he is with you. And these are the two signs that will give you the assurance every time you feel the way you are feeling right now. Watch out for these two signs and you will know whether he is with you or not. God bless you. Shalom.